G'day guys, Monday night. Welcome back to the lab. Night, evening, just after five o'clock. So you might remember Friday, I tried to attack Abby and get some progress going on there. And uh, we just didn't get along. Not much happened. We welded in these front feet for the cage that's in the center of your screen there. Welded those to the cage, not to the body. And then everything stalled at the back end here and not much more happened. Today, some things happened. I did some other things other than Abby. But look, we've got one of the feet going on there. And we've got that plate going on there that's the same as that one. In the end, I just just do the simple thing, right? Don't, don't overthink it. Don't make it overly complicated. Just get the job done. So that foot plate is much larger than what it needs to be that's 14 by 14 so if you times that i don't know what's the number 138 or whatever the number is something like that 39 something it's much much bigger than the 120 square centimeters that we need it's heaps bigger than that so that's all good i've put it on the top of the intersection of that plate and that plate which has a piece underneath it vertical piece underneath it it's only thin steel to be fair but still it's something vertical that it wouldn't have had otherwise and on the front side of this we will be putting something in that goes down to the floor which is a bit of a nuisance because the floor is all funny shape and everything but they will have a panel that goes down to the floor there and it also attaches to the side of the chassis I'll just cut through this piece here attach it to the side of the chassis and then I'll make a little angle that holds that piece to that piece and that will make it pretty good not bad you wouldn't want to leave it just like that and we won't it will have something under here when it eventually gets up onto the hoist so yeah progress at last i haven't spent all day on this obviously i've been doing other things and closed uh sunday no video for sunday sorry but i did do some things up in here we've got some new pins on the march I've replaced these pins purely because the old ones, which are sitting in front of the lathe there, I just wasn't happy with the dimensions of them. And they weren't as accurate as they could have been. There's a bit too much clearance between here and the rod ends, so even if the nut tightened up as tight as you could make it, there was still going to be some movement there going on. And same deal with the top here. It was just a little bit freer than what it should have been. We're talking... 0.1 of a millimeter or something like that but i was just being fussy right so i just replaced those made new ones no problem at all to do that i ran around and cleaned all the wheels look all the glue from the wheel weights is all removed and everything i will get these balanced before we put the car back into action it's not really a thing that absolutely has to be done with a race car because you do pick up so much rubbish on the tires they go out of balance pretty much straight away as soon as you get them hot and start using them but we want to be testing the car knowing that these things are not creating vibrations so that if we have any we can rule those out and start looking at these things in here which should be all right i could run this up on the hoist sans wheels uh, and check for vibration with no load uh, the neighbors don't like the noise the car makes which is fair enough there's quite a bit of loud comes out of these, especially if you want to bring it up in the revs, so it probably won't be doing that. Save that for the dyno. Uh, there was some progress in some other areas. Um, that thing there got a bit of a hiding. I'm surprised it's not actually smoke coming out of that, but we've got some cool things turning up soon to make, make this more betterer, more gooder. So that's pretty cool and that's about it so tomorrow hopefully there won't be any uh, time consuming interruptions in the morning and i'll be able to crack on with it the mount foot for the left hand side shouldn't left hand rear shouldn't take more than an hour or two to get that smashed out the other one was something less than that whatever it was i'm not sure uh, not particularly worried just get the job done so i'll get that one all done well that in uh, then we're looking at backstays and welding those feet onto the floor and gussets for the door bars and steering wheel bracket, mount bracket, steering column.
mount bracket. Alright, that's us. Thanks for watching. That looks ridiculous, doesn't it? That big round thing, that's bigger than my head. And I've got a big head. Alright, catch you later. Cheers, mate.